Heading to Lake Powell. Never been before? You have? I have. We are heading out to do some engagement photos. We're gonna take them ourselves. You're gonna take them ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna figure out how to do it without having a photographer, so. Social distance style. Yesterday. Before the road trip began, I headed over to Wild Flora in Studio City to pick up my bouquet. I was coordinating with Alex and I sent her a few photos of the dress that I was gonna wear and a few photos of the landscape around Lake Powell and she created the most perfect desert inspired bouquet. Make sure to check out the link in my description to see more of their beautiful work on Instagram. Step one to shooting your own engagement photos is location scouting. We chose to shoot at Lake Powell because it's so picturesque. We wanted to shoot around golden hour but we also went down into a canyon so we almost ran out of light. That's why it's important to location scout. The next thing you're going to need is a camera. I shoot with a 5D Mark III, but you can really work with anything. Then you're going to need a tripod that your camera can screw into. You'll also need a wireless remote trigger that's compatible with your camera. And don't mind the phone, I'm not sure why that was in that shot. So right here you're going to see us just putting the camera on top of the tripod and making sure it's secure. And then I'm going to do some test shots. I'm going to check out my composition, set my f-stop, my ISO, and my shutter speed. I'll also make sure I bring over this little wireless trigger guy right here. I also set up a timer on my camera so it has a two second buffer. That way I have time to find somewhere to hide my hand before the photo is actually taken. And this was my first time giving it a try so let's see if it works. And it does so let's keep going. Something else to keep in mind when you're walking around the desert is that there's all kinds of prickly stuff out there. So wearing shoes would be smart. Okay, and here's our first real shot. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Okay, moving on. 8.01 p.m. The sun is going. This is nuts. And this is also the part where having patience comes in. We can go up higher. No, let's just do this. Let's go. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? We got the tripod set up, and this was my first solo shot. Also not bad. All right, I think that about wraps it up, but let's do a little recap. Um, the first thing you're gonna need to think about is your location scouting and where you'd like to take your photos. Second is think about bringing along a prop like I did. It was great to have something to do with my hands when I didn't know where to put them. Then you're gonna need your camera, any camera will do, and a tripod that's compatible with it, um, as well as a wireless remote so you can trigger it from a distance so you don't have to mess around with the self timer on the camera and only worry about 10 seconds to get back to your positioning. Last but not least is patience. This was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm pretty new here to YouTube, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.